What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we've got the Satin Ocean Shimmer Wrap, Mr. Clean 24 valve right behind us here. Got some parts to go into the hood thanks to our friends over at Pusher Intakes. Pusher, thank you so much for sending out these parts. You guys are awesome. I work with Jacob over there. They said, hey, we've got this sweet looking 24 valve. At least it's going to look super sweet when it's done. Would you guys like to be a part of this project? He said, absolutely. He sent over some products. So we're going to get to installing these things on the truck today. If you guys want to check out any of the parts that you see going on this thing today, check them out at pusherintakes.com. There is a link down in the description below that's under every single video that features this truck and it's got a link directly to their website. They make stuff for Duramaxes, Power Strokes, Cummins, all different years and models and all that other stuff. They have all sorts of stuff. They don't just do the parts that you're seeing here today. They do a lot of stuff around the hoods of those trucks and some other parts and accessories as well. And then there's some other links to products that we put on the truck as well that we thought were a nice touch. If you wanna see all the links to all the products that we put on this truck, the description contains all those links down below. Okay, so we're gonna get into the box here and look at this stuff. And guys, keep in mind, this is not the first time we've used pusher parts. It's not just like, oh, you know, we reached out to somebody and they were the first ones to offer to send us some products to work with us on the truck and then that's why we use them. Now, we actually bought quite a bit of pusher parts before we actually started working with them in terms of as a brand that kind of works with our channel, with us on some of our trucks. We bought a lot of their products before we even started working with them just because we really like the products and we only work with brands that we actually really like and we really want to use their stuff. If we don't really like their stuff, we don't work with them. If you see us working with any companies and any brands, it's because we believe that they are the highest quality in that category of part that they manufacture and produce and that is why we run pusher parts in our trucks. I already took out all the packing peanuts because they're was tons of packing peanuts in there to keep this stuff from banging around. Here's an air filter that's gonna be going on the air intake, of course, and I also set some of the hardware in here. It was not set in there. It was actually taped on top of the box, surrounded in packing peanuts to keep it from banging around in there. So here's our air filter they sent us, our four inch intake piping for the turbo side, intake for the intake manifold side of things. Gloss white finish, by the way. I'll get into the details in a moment. A new four inch inlet style coupler for the turbo side. This is a new battery relocation tray. So it's a super nice high quality uh, tray to relocate the battery and we'll get into the steps and why you gotta do that. The installation on this truck might be slightly different to the installation on your truck if your truck has more factory or OEM parts. Fear not, Pusher actually sends a very detailed instruction sheet with even some photos and some little circles circling what you gotta take out, what you gotta put in, where, um, and then some finished product photos and stuff like that. One through however many steps there are, depending on the products that you purchase from them. All the details of what you're supposed to get, and they do a manual checklist to make sure that they go through the box before it gets shipped to make sure they are not missing anything. But of course, they say if you have any questions at all, they're here to help, give them a call and they'll get you taken care of. Let's get under the hood of this thing, tearing out what we don't need, and installing what we do. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of before video here. This is where the battery currently is positioned. The current intake setup, which this filter is disgusting by the way, but we're getting that taken care of today. And then here's the intake manifold side. Couple of things we're gonna have to remove. But let's get to dressing up this engine bay and making it look a little bit classier. So step one is gonna be removing your battery cables. We got the battery and the intake that was on this truck taken off. Step two is gonna be removing the positive battery cable from this side of the truck. So I got the two fender bolts in that old battery tray, one on the left, one on the right. Now you have to undo all these little clips that are supposed to look like that all around here. So there's one there, one there, 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 there. That one I kind of chewed up, but they send you some new ones. And then there's a couple up along the back side there. So get all those pulled out and then that'll expose the last few bolts on the underside of that fender there that hold in that old battery tray. 
could try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me So what I just did was I took off the four 13 millimeter nuts underneath here holding in the battery tray. There's one here, one there, and one there, and one there. And then, your old battery tray, see how it's all loose now? It should just lift out of there, but I'm gonna use two hands so I don't chew up my new wrap. And just like that, that's out. Just make sure everything's good here. Looks good. Now the rest of the process is pretty simple. You get two more 13 millimeter bolts, fender bolts. Just gonna remove those. Take your new battery tray. A nice shiny pusher one. Now you do actually reuse the two fender bolts that you pull out for this battery tray, but you've also got two new small bolts that Pusher gives you that you feed in through this tray and then you fasten up through underneath. So the next step is gonna be removing this bolt on your alternator. It's gonna be a little bit tough to crack loose at first, but it will come out. Use some penetrating oil on the back side to get on those threads and uh, it will back out. And then you're going to take this new bolt that Pusher sends you. You're going to feed it right on through there. And thread it in. So I just caught myself doing something that I'm going to let you guys hear in on. I ran this bolt through and I ran it through all the way till it was snug. That's actually a mistake. You don't want to do that. And I'm going to show you why you don't want to do that. The reason is, if you do that, then it's going to be hard to line up your new intake because the little tab that's welded on that comes off of your intake will scratch on that bolt if you try to force it to line up with this bolt threaded through like that. So you got to make sure that the bolt is threaded in enough to where it's flush with that nut there that's welded to your alternator mounting bracket but not poking through and then you wanna thread it through once your intake is actually mounted on to the turbo. So now you can take your new intake, and carefully put it on there. And next year. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bought an obsession. All in his possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon. 11 11, it's time for progression. Oh. You could try to play, but you never gonna be. So here is the final product on the cold air intake side. Here's your filter, your pusher, gloss white powder coated intake, and you've got your pusher coupler right there going to the turbo. Looks super, super nice. I believe I do have a bag for this intake as well that is also Pusher branded. There's your new Pusher battery tray for your relocation. And then you take your power cable and it actually gets zip tied back along your firewall and routed out that way. And it's no longer in front because of course you had to relocate your battery tray. And the whole purpose of the cold air intake being moved forward instead of being thrown back is because of course you are going to get more cold air flow directly through here than you're going to get if your intake is laying back in the engine bay where the engine bay holds more heat. Pusher is very thoughtful when it comes to the design aspect of their parts and why they design things the way that they do. There's products that just look good and then there's products that look good and function. Pusher wants to be one of those products that actually looks good and functions well. And in this case, to get the coldest air and the best airflow in the engine bay is gonna be located more towards the front on these trucks. And that's just what works better for these. And that's why they do it the way they do. And just to give you a little bit more eye candy, they do actually come with a pusher intake bag there that goes over top. Which might actually help keep your air filter to last a lot longer because I'm sure this bag is actually gonna catch a lot of that bigger dust and debris that the air filter would normally 
take on. Now we are actually going to be replacing the intake horn on this as well. This is currently rocking a sinister diesel one, but we want to swap it out because we want it to match the pusher stuff on the other side. So we're going to get to unbolting this one and put the new pusher one on there. Staying on pace, running the race. Life is a chase. I don't want to place. I want to be first. Work till it hurts. Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse. Oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives You create thoughts, never waste time You got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chain Go free me People like sheep Move feet Hurt it easy You don't wanna be Fast asleep When they ski me Better stay tall Ready for a fight Believe me well guys, we got the pusher parts installed on the truck. My camera died like three different times and my card filled up once so I had to go to my computer over there and delete a bunch of stuff off here and transfer some stuff over to a hard drive, come back and piece it together. Hopefully my footage turned out okay. This stuff is super easy to install though for the most part. Sometimes you gotta make some small adjustments, wiggle some things around, but everything does line up totally fine. Here's the intake horn on the intake manifold side. My setup obviously is you're gonna look at it. It's not set up the way it's supposed to and that is because my setup here was not a factory intake horn. It had a sinister diesel one and the actual factory bolt that goes in through this, through the engine oil dipstick that goes into that factory style intake horn was missing. That bolt was just gone. So I didn't have that bolt to work with this here because Pusher does uh, send you a nut and a washer and if they were supposed to send a bolt I didn't get one but the size of the nut looked like it was supposed to line up with the factory bolt that comes on the factory intake horn which I have one at the house I just don't have one with me where I'm at right now. For now I just took the washer they sent me to go um, on the back side of the nut that you would normally thread up with your stock intake horn bolt that fastens down your engine oil dipstick to your factory intake horn, I took the washer that was supposed to be for that and I put it on here and then I just fastened my engine oil dipstick to this clamp right here. Now, that's not the way it's supposed to be set up, so disclaimer. So this was actually just flopping around in the engine bay, but then everything else, you know, new gasket, the Cummins OEM bolts for the back two here that are a little bit shorter and they're specifically designed to be able to fit through here a lot easier without scratching up your your powder coating. And then on this side you've got your cold air intake side with your pusher air filter cover and then you've got your pusher coupler here mounted up to the whole set turbo. Everything ended up being great the way that it all fit together in the end. The battery tray, I'm gonna have to find a way to fasten this battery. You're supposed to have the factory retaining clamp which is like this style here that has the bolt the long bolt down on each side and it fastens down you're supposed to have those this side did not have one so pusher does actually have the holes drilled for that you know so you can actually run that still but on this one I was missing the setup so I'm gonna have to find a, a secondary way here before I pull out uh, to make sure that this battery stays firm where it's supposed to be that's the install and I think it looks good. And the reason that we went with white, Pusher asked us whatever color we wanted to go with to let them know, and I said to go with gloss white because everything under the hood is already white. Now, is it as clean and shiny white as that? Not until we clean the underside of the hood a little bit better, but the gloss white finish will match the OEM color of the truck very, very nicely, which is what the truck is behind this satin ocean shimmer blue wrap. It's actually, of course, all white because you can tell on the inner fenders and all that stuff. And if you've watched the videos previously to this, you know that everything else was white under the truck before it was wrapped. So we thought the white parts would go very nicely with the color of the truck under the hood without it looking too crazy because we were thinking about going with some other colors. I'm like, you know what? We probably shouldn't because the truck's gonna be blue and then if we have some kind of crazy colors under the hood with a blue wrap and then if they take the wrap off, it's white, you know, it was just kind of like, we just didn't know how much we wanted going on under the hood of this thing. And just to kind of keep it as clean as possible, we thought white on the truck being originally white would be simple enough. And if you ever wanted to take the wrap off, you've got white parts to match the truck. It's 
give her a start up here with the new parts. That is going to be a conclusion to at least this video featuring the new pusher parts on Mr. Clean, the 24 valve. If you guys want to check out any of Pusher's products, definitely check them out with the link in the description below. Pusherintakes.com, check them out. Thank you so much, Pusher, again, for the parts on this truck. We are more than happy to work with you guys on any of our vehicles because we trust your parts, they're high quality, and I would recommend them to anybody. These guys, if you want to get entered to win this truck plus the five grand, every one dollar right now is 25 entries to win until January 18th. So you only have a couple days left, and then 25X entries are done. And if you're coming from stock intake parts, whether it's cold air intake or an intake elbow, if you're coming from stock OEM parts to the pusher parts, you're gonna notice some changes, not just in airflow, but in performance, in keeping your EGTs down, and increased fuel mileage, stuff like that. You will notice some of that stuff when you go from stock congested parts to like the higher flow stuff, because that cold air intake setup is a lot better than like a factory box. You are gonna notice some performance gain. It's not just like, oh, this looks cool. I'm gonna put this on my truck. That's not just what you're paying for. You're paying for, A, parts that look good, but parts that perform as good as they look. That's the whole point of that stuff, is to actually enhance performance and get more out of your truck. Because air, as Busher always says on their website and on their branding, air is everything, and it really is true, especially on these big diesel trucks. That's what they need. They need air and fuel. And if you don't have enough air, and you just got a whole lot of fuel, um, your combination isn't gonna be the best. So if you're running big tunes and stuff, and big injectors, be sure and make sure you're pushing enough air to support that, and you'll get the most out of your truck. Hit that thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you have not done so yet. Give their website a look, and if you don't find exactly what you're looking for on there, definitely give them a call, and I'm sure they can try to help you find exactly what you're looking for and get you set up so that you're not only looking better under the hood, but you're performing a lot better too. So thanks so much, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.